That's a total of $95,650. On today's program, with knowledge and luck, he could break the $100,000 mark. We'll soon find out as... From Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Go! And now, here's our host, Wade Martindale! Thank you very much, Bob Hilton. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice people. Currently on Tic Tac Go, we have a gentleman who has become the fourth biggest winner of all time on our show, and uh, he... He could just keep going for a long time the way he's uh, mowing opponents down. Let's meet him. Here he is. Bob, if you will, please. Our current champion has winnings which total in cash and prizes $95,650. He's an Air Force lieutenant who's also been a bartender. Meet Doc Bass. And his opponent, he's a law student, and his interests include classical music and long distance running. Meet Neil Breakstone. You're a law student working as a law clerk right now. What does a law clerk do in uh, what, in five seconds? What does a law clerk do? A law do? clerk does everything that lawyers don't want to do, but really ought to be doing. Yeah, right. And you're going to be a lawyer someday. That's right. Here in the Los Angeles area? Uh, hopefully, yeah, to begin with. Well, good luck in that profession. Well, and good luck you. today on Tic Tac Toe. Thank you. Doc Fass, of course, is our big champion with $95,650 in cash and merchandise. Doc, you've won a lot of nice things of all of the goodies that you've won. Excluding the automobiles, what comes to mind is something that is very, very important to you personally. Well, if you exclude the automobiles, that's just kind of nice. And there's a lot of that yeah. too, isn't it? But uh, the thing I really wanted more than anything else was a videotape machine, and I got that. You got that. What sure are you gonna do with some of the money? I mean, golly, you got so much money. You got thousands and thousands of yeah. bucks. Yeah. We have thousands of people in the audience. Literally, would love to take that off your hands if you don't have it. Well, a few hundred anyway. Well, I don't know. Uh, I'd like to go back into business again, and uh, like to have a good time. Go into business with that uniform on, or later? Well, later on, maybe. Hey, good luck on this show today. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Neil and Doc, let's take a look at the categories. We're using these subjects: the odd one, situation comedies or sitcoms, colors, foreign words, fashions, football female singers, bodies of water, and secret category, which, of course, could be any category at all. The correct answer there automatically doubles the pot. On the last show, the game was interrupted, and at that time, this is what the board looked like. As far as X's and O's were concerned, three big X's for Doc, two O's for Neil. $1,400 in the pot. Let us shuffle with four boxes left on the board and these subjects coming up. The odd one, bodies of water, female singers, and fashions. Doc is our champion. Where would you like your next X to go, please? We could like female singers for the win. Female singers in the center box would give you, with the correct answer, a diagonal win, $1,700 in cash, and a grand total then of $97,350. Doc, the subject female singers, here is the question. I'm going to give you the titles of some best-selling albums. You tell me the popular female folk singers who recorded them. One. Name the dark-haired American anti-war activist who recorded the albums Carry It On and Diamonds and Rust. Secondly, name the blonde Canadian poetess and singer who released the albums Court and Spark and The Hissing of Summer Lawns. Here's your extra time. <laughs> Once again, Doc, I'll give you the titles of the albums. You tell me the popular female folk singers who recorded them. Name the dark-haired American anti-war activist who recorded the albums Carry It On and Diamonds and Rust. Joan Baez. Yes. For Tic-Tac-Toe and a total of $97,350, complete your answer with this question. Name the blonde Canadian poetess and singer who released the albums Court and Spark and the hissing of summer lawns. Joni Mitchell! Yes, for Tic Tac Toe! <laughs> well, let's see. That took you about 47 seconds, Doc, <laughs> to put Neil away with this particular game, uh, which was, of course, a carryover from the last show. 
$97,350 cash and merchandise belonging to you, Doc Fass, with the opportunity to take another stab at our dragon shortly, a, an animal against whom you've done very, very well. Neil Breakstone, uh, no big cigar for you, no cash, but a couple of nice prizes as a consolation, and thank you for being a marvelous opponent for Doc. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, me. Neil Breakstone, for being with us. Doc, as you come over to join me as you try to beat the dragon, if indeed you are successful, your bonus round would give you over $100,000 in cash and merchandise. We're going to take a commercial break, and then we'll be back to see if we can break this record. won two very special prizes for beating a lot of opponents. He won those two prizes for beating 10 opponents. Now, if he defeats three more for a total of 15, he's going to win a third goodie. And here it is, Bob. It's a brand new car! New accessory two-door coupe, the mid-sized personal luxury car with a spacious, comfortable interior and classic exterior. The Century Two-Door Coupe by Buick. Polyglycoat Sound Shield for the noisy underside of your car, not an undercoating. Polyglycoat is a sound shield available at new car dealers only. Back to you, Wink. Okay, Doc, if you're ready to take on the dragon now, we're all ready for you. I got to tell you, though, in going up against our mean dragon 11 times, the dragon has only beat Doc once. Not a bad record. Doc, try to do it again. Come on over. That's a, that's a uncanny record in itself. Find the numbers on the board, of course, the various amounts of money, and that dragon we had in mind, the one that we mentioned. All you have to do is get to $1,000 or more, and you win a very nice prize package. Do you sometimes like to escape from it all? Oh, all the time. I guess being an Air Force man, that's not too hard for you. Well, Bob Hilton's going to tell you the perfect way to do it. Listen. Well, first, Doc, when you make this escape, you won't miss any phone calls because you'll have this automatic Tance telephone answering machine. It's the Ricardi Call 80A automatic telephone answering system with remote control that plays back your message from anywhere in the world with just a push of a button. And to help you get away, we're going to give you a chauffeured limousine to take you where you want to go. Limousine provided by A Limousine Service of Southern California, where one call does it all, and see your air. And one place you may want to go is to one of Los Angeles' best hotels for a deluxe weekend getaway. Hotel accommodations by the beautiful new Bel Air Sands Hotel, featuring deluxe accommodations, two swimming pools, tennis courts, running track, Bel Air Sands Hotel, located just minutes from Westwood and Beverly Hills. Finally, Doc, now that you've gotten a taste of getting away, we're going to help you really escape. You're going to exciting Hong Kong, Bangkok, and Singapore! You'll visit Hong Kong, the precious pearl of the Orient. Then you're off to Bangkok, the capital and largest city of Thailand. And then you'll travel to Singapore, the world's third busiest port, with a ship arriving or departing every 15 minutes. You'll have 14 fun-filled days, compliments of tic-tac-toe. This getaway package, Doc, is worth, in cash and prizes, almost $3,050! Remember, avoid the dragon or you lose everything. Get the chicken attack, you automatically get the dough. We're going to cover them up, move them all around on the board. Remember, if you beat the dragon, that'll take your winnings in cash and prizes. And what a marvelous series of trips you have just heard described. Your winnings would go over the $100,000 mark. First things first, we'll talk about that eventuality if and when it happens. Select a number. Well, I have to go with one. What can I say? One. All right, number one's been awfully good to him. What's behind one? Tick, add it to pack, and you got an automatic win. So to take your winnings over $100,000, you could do it on the next call if a tack comes up. I gotta go with three, wait. If there's tack behind number three, he's got a total of over $100,000. What's behind three? Take a look. $500. All you need now is tack or another $500 to put your winnings over $100,000. Well, give me that number four. I'll have to try number four. They like the looks of number four. Tack or 500 will give him over 100,000 total. What's behind four? 300. Give me 200 or tack to put it over 100,000. What do they say? They're giving me lucky seven. I gotta try lucky seven. Been lucky seven. It's been good for him. He needs $200 or tack for over 100,000 total. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that's got to make you feel good, and that enthusiasm has got to kind of really get under your skin after a while. Huh? I mean, in a, in a positive way. You bet. I couldn't do it without him. Like what I are said. your feelings now? Your total is up to $100,450 in cash and merchandise. And what a marvelous trip you just won. Bangkok, all those countries. How do you feel about this? What goes through your mind immediately, right now, as you realize it's over 100000 and you came on originally hoping to just win 450 or $500? Uh, I just like to share it with the rest of them, and I wish I could take them all along I was with me. hoping you'd say that. As a matter of fact, anybody plan plans after the show? Huh? Maybe we can make one. Hey, congratulations. Where was the dragon? You seem to be so knowledgeable at this. Where was the dragon? Number six. Number six? He says that with authority. Let's look behind number six. Was it behind six? No, no. Doesn't matter, though. You've already won. Two, five, eight, and nine. Which one of you had the dragon behind you? Let's take a look. There it was, last number on the board. Cash and prizes, $100,450. As you know on Tic-Tac-Toe, you continue as our champion. You continue as long as you win. You try to give it another shot now? Sure will. Get over there and let's meet a new opponent, all right? Okay, Bob Wilson, bring him on. She's a high school English teacher who's studying for a master's degree in American studies. Meet Elizabeth Leggett. <laughs> Equal time, right, Liz? Welcome to our show, Liz. You teach school and you're getting a master's degree all at the same time. Any time left for fun? Oh, sure, Wink. I find some time to do some traveling, and along the way I caught the antique bug. Is that contagious? What do you collect? I love old Crocs. Old Crocs? <laughs> <laughs> well, that leaves me open for a... What do you collect? I know, you know. <laughs> well, I collect jugs and jars and old crockery and mm. stoneware. What else do you like, Liz? Well, I'm a big fan of yours, Wink. Oh, thanks very much, but I'm not sure I want to be lumped in with the old Crocs, to tell you the truth. I'm not sure that appeals to me. Hey, Liz, welcome to the show. Thank you very you much. You know the going is going to be difficult, because Doc's tough. He's already proven no. that. We're going to be back in a moment to see if Liz can become our next champion. <laughs> show you and Elizabeth the categories. I understand, I was talking to one of you guys during that commercial break, one of your friends out in the audience, and they tell me that when you got to the level of $44,000 uh, here on Tic Tac Toe, you did something. You went to the telephone and you called your dad to tell him the good news. How'd you call him? Well, uh, I called him Collect Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, you wouldn't. Yeah. You didn't, Doc. Yeah, I, I didn't have enough change on me, so... Uh... Okay, at the end of this show, how are you going to call him? You going to make him pay for the call? Uh, the way I feel, I could probably yell from here to New York, and they'd probably hear me. And I think if I were you, I'd feel the same way. Okay, listen, Doc, take a look at the board. Our subjects for this game of tic-tac-toe are mixed drinks, men of the sea, famous movies, quotes, one-word names, the 1940s, funny men, U.S. history, and geology. Doc, select, please. Wink, I think I'll go to famous movies in the upper right. All right, here's your question in that category of famous movies. Doc, first take a look at this picture, please. In a 1979 movie, this acting pair battled over the custody of their son. Name the movie. Kramer versus Kramer. Yes, that's right. Great movie, by the way. Kramer versus Kramer. Put him up there. Let's shuffle the categories around. Put $200 in the pot and move to Elizabeth Leggett. Well, it's got to be mixed drinks, Wink. In the center, mixed drinks. $100 to the pot. There are two famous types of whiskey which are named for countries in the British Isles. I want you to name them both, and while you think about that, I'll give you a few extra seconds. <laughs> Elizabeth, two famous types of whiskey which are named for countries in the British Isles. Name them both. Scotch. Yes. And Irish whiskey. Yes, that's it. Scotch and Irish. Put it over there. $400 to pop. Let's shuffle. Move the categories around, Mr. Computer and Doc. We're back to you. Uh, Wink, I think I'll try mixed drinks. Mixed drinks? In the right side in the center. Doc, the dry variety of this aromatic aperitif wine is often used in cooking or mixed in such cocktails as a martini. Name this wine. Vermouth. Yes, correct. Put it next there. Shuffle. $200 to the pot. Both get to $700. Liz? I'll take the 40s to block, Wink. 1940s for a block. In 1941, Liz, President Franklin Roosevelt delivered a famous speech in which he outlined a number of essential freedoms. For a block, how many freedoms? There were four, Wink. Yes, that's right, for a block, four freedoms. 
and O'Day Vale. Let's move the categories again. <laughs> Subjects take different positions on the board. Doc, back to you. Well, looks like I'll have to try Funny Man the block. Funny Man, top left. Hey, on the defensive. Different position for Doc. For a diagonal block, Doc, answer this. <laughs> Excuse me. This comic actor has starred in such popular television series as Gilligan's Island, but is best known as the voice of Mr. Magoo. For a block, name him. Jim Backus. Yes, correct. Good for a block. Put it back there. By the way, Liz, uh, before we shuffle the categories around, you have some people here, too, and I think it's about time we stop for equal time to say hello to them. Okay. It's quite a group. Who are they? Wink, they're my journalism staff from my high school. Oh, yeah. You can stand up. It's okay. Yeah, go ahead and stand up. There they are. Now sit down. <laughs> All right, Liz, you got a good following here in the oh, audience. They're so they should, they should help quite a bit. $1,100 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories around. Four boxes left, and there are the subjects, Liz, from which you can pick. It's not my favorite, but I've got to go to mixed drinks to, win to block. Yeah, up in the center, you need a block. Yeah. With the answer to this question on mixed drinks. The block doc, Liz, listen carefully. The Collins are a class of mixed drinks which are made with any one of six different liquors. For a block, which liquor is used to make a Tom Collins? Gin. Yes! Yeah. Good for a block. Put it over there. Three boxes left. Let's shuffle the categories with $1,300 in the pot. There they are, Doc. Whoa. Okay, we're going to have to try uh, mixed drinks for the block. Bottom center again. We can't get away from that subject. Doc, you're looking for a block of Elizabeth. Answer to this. This drink for teetotalers is made with ginger ale and grenadine. It's named for a famous child star of the 30s. For a block, name it. A Shirley Temple. Yes. <laughs> We've had many of those. So that's good for a block if we put an X there. Another $200 in the pot. We're down to two boxes now. The categories that appear in them will determine if we have a tie. Let's shuffle. Mixed drinks and quotes, Liz. <laughs> quotes, please. All right. The subject is quotes. Answer this correctly, Elizabeth. We will have a tie game. According to an often quoted saying by Thomas Haynes Bailey, for a tie game, what makes the heart grow fonder? Distance. Is that acceptable? No, Wink, it is not. I'm sorry, we have to have the exact word of the quote. And the famous quote is, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Somehow, distance makes the heart grow fonder. It doesn't quite make it, and I'm sorry it doesn't for you on that answer. So, still $1,500 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories around with two boxes left. Showing us quotes and funny men. Doc? Wink, I'll take funny men. Funny men, the subject. Here's your question. Funny men Chevy Chase, Bill Murray, and Garrett Morris were all regulars on this popular television comedy show. Name it. From New York, it's Saturday Night Live. Right. <laughs> Put another S there, another $200 for the pot. One box left. The category that will appear in this box coming up will decide if we have a tie or not. Let's shuffle. U.S. history, Elizabeth. U.S. history. All right. Answer this correctly, and we will have a tie game. On February 15, 1898, a U.S. battleship was blown up off the coast of Havana, Cuba. Two months later, the United States was at war with Spain. For a tie game, name the battleship. I believe it was the Maine. Right! We have a tie! We'll be right back right after these commercial words. Hey, you put, uh, uh, you made our heart jump a little bit when you took that pause. Was that a dramatic pause or were you really thinking about that? It was my heart going. <laughs> On this show, there are no dramatic pauses. You really were thinking, weren't you? Well, congratulations. Tie Game will start a new game with nine new categories. And again, congratulations to you, Mr. $100,000 plus winner. Thank you. This is my uh, famous Robin Hood hat. I wear this to all my parties on Saturday night when I go live. And eat your heart out, all of you. I know you just love to have one, but this is mine, all mine. Bye, bye, bye. Mm.